assalamu alaikum dear students uh, as you know uh, that i usually uh, used to record videos for you on literature but today i am going to give you something new and uh, you can say a uh, very um, energetic thing is here with me and i am going to start so i am a man uh, who can't see and uh, he is uh, doing job as well as in different institutions and he has done uh, master in english literature and he is going to do uh, uh, in future m phil in english so uh, mr naim riaz is with me and now i am at university of wa uh, and uh, we are here Uh, for the second international conference and this man also has represented uh, his research paper so uh, we are going to start our talk how are you gentlemen i'm good how are you thank uh, you for uh, i'm also good uh, so uh, uh, would you like to start from your biography short biography please right so a brief introduction of myself currently i'm working as an academic english instructor at Jawdin University before joining here i finished my masters in english literature from the university of karachi and before that i did my ba honors in english in english literature from the same university okay uh, how many siblings are there uh, we six six okay uh, so uh, now i i think we should start uh our brief introduction as we have done now uh, i would like to discuss regarding your education basically my question is that that how you have done your education with the, this sort of disability that you are uh, facing uh, that is by birth yes it's by birth and as far as your question of me managing these things is concerned yes i think uh, okay so there is this medium or mode of reading and writing for the people with visual impairment impairment or visually challenged people it's called braille um till my matriculation or i would say intermediate i relied on this and as soon as i moved to study at the university of karachi i changed the medium because then there were a lot of things to read there at the same time we had to write a lot and certainly all that could not be managed using braille so i shifted the medium or mode of my studies and started using laptop or desktop now there is another question that arises out of this how come can i use or am i able to use laptop or desktop so basically we have these screen readers software that assist us or facilitate us with reading writing navigating and everything that actually is a part of an ordinary desktop or laptop so that's how i continued my continued my education education and that's how here okay uh, gentlemen actually my question is that uh, we are having eyes and we are not uh, you can say uh, visualizing the thing as you do i think so because you are uh, not going to see anything and as you have told that this is by birth yes and uh, um, have you tried for medical treatment yes absolutely um, i visited so many places all across the country and even i would go on sending the <coughs> documents to people outside pakistan but <coughs> sorry no treatment has been found of the disease that i have so far so yes that's that okay uh, we are going to conclude and summarize the things so uh, can you elaborate the thing for my students specifically Uh, that they are having eyes and they are not doing something in their life and on the other hand you are not having eyes actually i am very much impressed as yesterday and today i have seen you 
in the conference and uh, uh, you can't uh, uh, imagine and you can't see actually uh, your uh, friend basically uh, she was seeing me and she was feeling the mm, things and emotions as i was expressing my emotions for you mm-hmm. as you were representing your topic as well as your research topic and as you have managed the thing in the conference till yet that was uh, uh, you can say marvelous it was outstanding mm-hmm. so uh, actually uh, uh, my question is that uh, how you have managed as well as the things in your study you have discussed mm-hmm. and now the thing is that what is your future aim and what you want and uh, the last thing is that uh, in your life have you ever uh, felt that uh, disability that that is with you and how do you manage your daily routine in life okay so so many questions coming together <laughs> yes one. yes I actually mean, a- actually i want that you may speak continuously uh-huh. uh, with the different things uh-huh. for my students i will try my best to incorporate yes. all these questions in my answer or in my talk rather of next 3 to 5 minutes okay um beginning with uh what should your students be taking from this conversation i think each of us is born with certain potentiality as well as individuality and that individuality i think or i believe should not be wasted it should be used to its fullest to make sure that we when we leave this world we leave with this idea that the purpose with which we came or the purpose that we had of our existence was uh somewhat or somehow fulfilled so for that what do you need to do that's another question you certainly need to keep working hard you need to there are going to be a lot of obstacles and you have to keep struggling in order for you to be able to break through those those struggles those obstacles rather and at the same time you do not need to sit back idly something that people do after realizing that okay nothing is going in their favor so th- since this is not working what should i do i should rather just sit silent your idly and not do anything this is something that i think we should not be doing we should continue to um, fly in the face of these obstacles and ensure that we reach some point where the purpose of our existence is fulfilled moving forward uh, i'm sorry i i completely lost the track of things and i've forgotten your question okay 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 you may now kindly conclude that uh, the last question is there yeah. uh the thing is that actually i want to conclude uh, yeah. the thing is that how you have managed uh, with the, any sort of software <coughs> particularly or uh, how you visualize the thing and how actually i was uh, observing in conference you you were uh, using cell phone yes and i think you are using whatsapp yes i am you are using facebook you are using uh, uh, social media yes, also yes i am on all the platforms so okay actually as mentioned as i mentioned earlier we have these screen reading software okay that assist us or facilitate us in uh, using these devices and that's how i uh, can we have some sort of demo demonstration sure. yes uh, yes you may kindly i wasn't sure i think you may take your tea too please uh, sure i'll, I'll do it it's that. getting uh, i it's think so cold You may, you may, you may take, you may I take, please. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. Okay. So okay. that I can show you how yes, to be yes. use this phone. So it's a, it's a normal iPhone. Six, okay, iPhone. Right. Now I'm opening this. Okay, I have sent you text message. Yes, can I'm, you I'm, please? Yes, I'm opening. I, yes, I'm, I'm yes, going to be opening yes, that. yes. So here is your message. Okay.
So he told me that you are Muhammad Ali okay. from BZU Laya Campus. Laya Campus. Right. Okay, right. Now right. I would like to reply. Okay. You. Yes. Right. Yes. So please. I will write. Sure. Noted. Right. Yes. Right. 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 Okay, exactly. okay, okay. That's great. Kindly, kindly, you can tell me that how you have typed the sure and noted. Uh, is is some sort of practice now, or uh, this yes, software is helping you? <coughs> of course, it's. You basically it's, you have pressed uh, all right. Yes, because now it's. It, I'm I'm habituated or accustomed okay. to these locations on the phone that's with touch screen and. Keys on the keyboard of my laptop. Okay. So I'm accustomed. Uh, okay. Uh, how? Because I've been using these. You see, I've been using this keyboard. Yes, I was for observing. For about ten or twelve years. Okay. Uh, from yesterday and today, I have observed. And how you saved your contact number? If uh, as I have texted you. Mm -hmm. So is there some sort of technique? No. Or same sort. I'm going sort. to be following the same method. Okay. And uh, can you uh, can you show us that how many <laughs> softwares? as well as you are using social media platforms for my uh, uh, okay. from, uh, so let us see yes please if it is possible it. some some of those apps i have to delete because my phone okay. did okay. not allow okay me access we can to see facebook here facebook has youtube is there yes youtube then we have okay tribune and dawn i actually yes. have this habit of you YouTube. used to dawn i i, I read dawn Okay. Yes. WhatsApp is there. Facebook Messenger is there. Messenger is also there. Okay. Gmail. And okay. Kareem. Okay. Okay. Because Kareem, you see, I need it. You one of the questions that you ask how how do I manage things in yes. my daily life. Okay. So when I have to travel from one location to another, I use uh, either by Kia or Kareem. Okay. 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 Now uh, another any other apps are there. Let's see, food panda. Okay. You used to order the things. Uh, yes, I do order sometimes. Okay. There is Snapchat. Snapchat is also I there. I don't use it that much, but, but yes, it's there. Yes, you are. You have installed. Yes, it's there. Okay. Instagram is also <laughs> there. Yes, Instagram is there. UBL Bank is, uh, is yeah, also course, there. Of course, it, okay. it has to be. <laughs> it has to be. Okay, okay, that's great. Yes. Uh, 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 gentlemen, can you uh, repeat uh, your qualification again and your I, current uh, position of working? Right. Uh, I've done master's in English literature and currently I'm working as an academic English instructor at Ziauddin University. Un Ziauddin University, yes. Karachi? Yes. And what is your future plan regarding studies? Uh, I'm going to be definitely pursuing my uh, post graduate studies and I'm planning to take or secure my admission somewhere uh, sometime soon. Okay. So, uh, with the, okay, okay. Thanks Thank you. Uh, only one minute last is there. Can you uh, elaborate the message for us, for my students? Only one minute. Uh, what do you want to say, please? Uh, sure. I, I would just like to tell them to not stop okay do not stop there will be hard times hmm. there may be hard times at this point in time when you are listening or watching this video and there will be obstacles there will be uncertainties there will be barriers there will be people pulling your legs hmm. there will be uh, offices or administration of some place not allowing you to do something there will be some social I, I would rather say socio-political and psychological barriers hmm. too but you do not have to or you should not stop at all okay last question is there uh, why uh, particularly you have uh, you have chosen the English literature um, Last question, please. It's, it's a very good question, but yes. I, I'm afraid I will not be able to um, have an answer that is... Because easy. there are many fields. You can choose uh, <coughs> anyone, but why you have particularly uh, have chosen that? Okay. Uh, I didn't choose English. Okay. I would say I, my arrival at the Department of English was accidental. Okay. But within two or two and a half years, 
I found myself as T.S. Eliot in one of his essays, Tradition and the Individual Talent. Okay. Says um, I, I, I'm, I'm somehow quoting his expression. So I found myself absorbing hmm. that literature, hmm. that flavor that literature was offering me. Okay. So I, I found myself absorbing, and then I developed this for this liking or. I would say love for literature, and that's how it has been. So my accident, my arrival was accidental, but then I developed liking for it. Later. Okay, uh, thank you, gentlemen, for your kind you. time. Uh, wish you best of luck for your future, as well as you are thinking about your life, as well as for your uh, life goals for future. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for here being with us. Take care. Bye.